And even though on one level everyone recognises that they're mortal, no one really thinks about it until something comes along to challenge that sense of immortality that we all have. I'm not too sure I fully understand why we've become, uh, why death has become so hidden, but it is hidden. Um, and I find that quite challenging because it's how do you, as a society, address that? How do we address, address the invisibility of death? Look, I think we got into this pickle because we got so good at medicine. You know, if you think about what people died of and the age that they died, as we've got really good at providing healthcare and our understanding of disease, our development of new interventions and new medications, we've actually got really good at this. So we've created an, a sort of expectation in the community and amongst ourselves, I think, that we make things better. And it's almost like we've become so focused on the, the positive outcome that we've taken our eye off the other. As, as um, uh, health professionals, we focus on the physical and managing those symptoms, and that's appropriate. The challenge is we can't let the medicine dominate. So when someone's dying, you know, to me a bad death is when it's about the medicine and not about the individual and their family. So dying well to me is uh, someone who's reflected on what they want and where they want to be and is able to access what that is.